welcome to the course introduction to computers and today's lecture we will learn about the software what is software what are the different categories of a software how software is developed at the end we will see how data is stored in a computer system software is defined as set of instructions that are given to the computer to solve a problem so in a software there are instructions the instructions are step by step procedure to solve a problem this software runs on a hardware so actually all the tasks in a computer system is performed by a hardware to run this hardware we use software the second name of the software is program in a program or a software there are instructions that are executed on a hardware device a person who develops a software or a program is called programmer the task or the job of the programmer is to develop different softwares that can be executed on computers or mobile phones the software or the program is written in a programming language programming languages are used to write softwares what is a programming language a programming language is a set of symbols or we can say set of words that are used to write instruction for the computer systems through these symbols or the words we write instructions and these instructions are con converted into the language that computer understand and then these instructions run on the computer system there are two way to write a program the first way is to write a program in the language that a computer directly understands so the language of the computer system is machine language we call this machine language or binary language how a machine language or a binary language looks like we write instruction in a 01 format to write instruction in 01 format or a binary format it is very difficult and a tedious job also learning curve is very slow a new user takes a lot of time to understand and write new software in a machine language for the ease of programmer different languages are developed a program is written in this language and then this program is translated into machine language different language translators are used to translate a programmer code into machine code or a binary code so a programmer writes a program in a english like language and this software or the program is translated into a machine language that is executed on the hardware so what are the different categories of a software first of all we see different examples of a software for example the first example is a windows this can be a window xp window 10 then we can say that android ios this is these are the two categories of the software that are for the mobiles we can say that microsoft word powerpoint excel 
we watch different movies through different media players like VLC player. There can be different web browsers through which we access the internet. These are the different types of a software. These softwares are categorized into two types. The first category is called system software. The second category is called application software. System software are used to manage and run the computer system. Application software are used to solve different problems. So these are the basic software that are used for the task management of the users. The job of the system software is to manage the computer system. So in a system software, there are three categories. The first category is called the operating system. Operating systems are used to manage and run the computer hardware. For example, in a computer system, there is a microprocessor, there is a memory devices, RAM, ROM, and non-volatile storage devices like hard disk. To manage the software, and for the communication between the different devices, we use operating systems. Operating systems provides a interface for the users so that user interacts with the computer systems. For example, in a newer computer system, there is a graphical user interface. A different icons appear on a screen. User just click on these icons and the action automatically takes place. In our older systems, there was an interface for the user that is called the command line interface. This interface was uh, difficult for the user to write and they remember different commands and interact with the computer systems. The example of the graphical user interface is in our smartphone there are different icons for example to make a call there is a icon with the symbol telephone so we just touch this icon a uh, dialer screen appear in front of us we just uh, touch different numbers and after and we make a phone call so this user interface is a easy interface the second category is in a system software is called device drivers device drivers are used for the communication of different devices for example a computer system can understand only zero one language that is for the computer systems different devices are attached with the computer system for example we attach printer scanner webcam different devices are attached with a computer system a computer system cannot understand the language of a printer scanner webcam and the different devices for this purpose a software is used that translate the devices language into the computer language and computer language into the devices language this translator is called device drivers to attach a new device with a computer system first of all there is a requirement to install a new device drivers for example whenever we attach a printer with the computer system there is a requirement to install device driver for the printers print uh, device driver is a software that translate the language of a computer system into a device language and the device language into a computer system language the third category in a system software is utility software utility means the routine task for example in a computer system we install antivirus 
and we save different files the file uh, the size of the file is compressed different compression software used so that we can store our file efficiently so the job of the utility software is to efficiently manage different resources the second category of the software or uh, the second type of the software is called application software these are the software that are used to solve different problems for example if we write if we want to write a letter we use microsoft word to watch a movie we use different media player software to access the web we use web browsers there are two types of application software the first type is called the package software and the second category is the customized software package software are the software that are easily available from the market for example we can download different software from the google play store or uh, different cds are available in the market for the computer system the customized software are demand demanded from the programmer first of all the customer gives the requirement to the developer or the programmer then a developer develops a software for the, this company for example a banking software first of all sends his requirement or agreed his requirement with the programmer then a programmer develops this software the package software are off the shelf solution that are available in the market let's move to the uh, next topic that how data is stored in a computer system the com in a computer system the data is stored in a format that is called a file everything that we store in a computer or mobile is called a file the data in a file is in a format of a zero one format this format is used to save a file there are two things associated with the file the first is a file name and the second is file type type of the file is also called extensions for example document file is represented as doc image file is represented in a different format for example png jpeg video file has extension mp4 audio file is extension with the mp3 so the name of the file is for the users so that a user can remember these file names and different files are represented using file extensions <laughs>